Oh, look who's here. It's a cute little kitten who lives in a tree. Time for a ride in your basket. Cue the balloons. Ah, flying. It's the only way to travel. The tree kitten has landed. Now let's bundle you up like a little burrito. Let's clean you up. We should start with those ears. This calls for heavy duty stuff. Good thing we've got a fingertip toothbrush. Really get in those whiskers and scrub those messy paws. Almost done. You can dry off and cosplay as a bunny at the same time. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got a special surprise for you. Huh? Put some holes in this milk carton and add some udders on top. Now it's like he's got his own personal cow. But around here, we go all out for snack time. We've got food, we've got water, we've got buttons. And the piece de resistance, the meat bar. Of course, you might be in the mood for sausages. Who said cats don't like dogs, especially hot dogs? Now it's time to have some fun with this long tunnel. Add them to some cardboard boxes. Now our tree kitten has his very own tunnel system. After all, why should hamsters have all the fun? Let's add a little personalization while we're at it. There's no doubt what furry friend lives here. Anyone in the mood for tiny billiards? He'll write the great kitty novel on this. What else? Here's an idea. Grab an old t-shirt. Tie up the ends and hang it up. It's a kitty hammock. Throw on some pillows. Now grab a rubber glove. You only need one. Add it around a cup and fill it up with sand. It's great if you want a tiny chair or a moderate-sized hand. Add a reminder of his favorite person and it's time to explore. I told you he liked her. He plays pool by his own rules. Ah, such a bright sunny day for napping. Hey, be careful on top of that. Even if you can land on your feet. Let's have fun with these paw prints. Add epoxy resin. Decorate any way you want and then add them on a chain. It's a friendship bracelet. Well, a necklace at his size. I've heard of a monkey on your shoulder, but this is better. Run some string through a shower glove's fingertips. Our kitty's not the only one with retractable claws. Now we need to blow up a balloon. Well, that works. Make four of these and tie to each of the strings. It's like a baby mobile and a cat toy rolled in one. Cut up some foam around and cardboard. It's a tiny sink, complete with a tiny mirror. We can even cut up a straw to make a faucet. Add a dial. And what's a bathroom without a bath? A uh, gesundheit. Uh -oh. Is that rain tinsel? How'd that get up there? Hmm, 
This tub could use some tinsel and pom-poms. <laughs> After all, cats don't really do water. What the? I don't think your dolls will miss this garland. Time to see if our kitten likes his new water closet. Probably should powder his nose while we're here. Next up, take a sock and put it on a glass. Fill it up with some soil and seeds. And then, some more soil. We'll need to speed things up a bit. Wrap it up and add googly eyes. Why not? Now that you know how to make it, you'll never run out of delicious cat grass. This cat house needs a doorway. Now take the bristles off some toothbrushes and add it to the door. Grooming now just takes a few steps. Time to get out an old plastic bottle. Cut off the end. Now add some hot glue in the middle. Reattach with some string and pull out the neck. Now take a ball and attach with some more hot glue. Just pull it down and it pops open. Now add kibble. And behold, your cat can have treats with the flick of a paw. Why not make one for yourself while you're at it? It's the best of both worlds. Your kitty gets a ball to play with and snacks. Mmm, chips. Eh, never mind, at least we got the two. Tie some jute rope around it. Lasso it up. Add a bunch to the side of one of the boxes. Now your little rock climber can get some exercise. It's also a fun way of going up without stairs. And it's the perfect place for just hanging around. This cute tiny candy ball's the perfect thing for our cute tiny cat. Got something in your throat? Ooh, a fish skeleton. <laughs> Dip it in some paint and decorate the cat's house. That, or just make some fish bone broth. Seaweed in her hair? What, is she a mermaid? Well, it's fish related, so on the box it goes. So tell me, kitty, do you like your new pad? You can just relax and scratch an itch, or go on a little adventure. After all, you're the king of this castle. Who knew that hallways could be so fun? Oh no, he thinks I'm a mouse. Why did I eat all that cheese? He'll be in his equally adorable kitty trailer. Ah, just kidding. This kitty's a real professional. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Wait, Jeeves, mm -hmm. do you see what I see? Mm -hmm. <gasps> There's a dog in a basket, in the water. Oh, we gotta save him. Hmm. And by we, I mean you, Jeeves. I'll whip up my very own doggy pocket. I'll call you Seiko. Let's go to your new home. Aw, oh, who's a good girl? Ugh, with bad breath. What you need is this finger toothbrush. Add some toothpaste. And start brushing. Good girl. I accept payment in puppy kisses. Well, aren't we feeling jumpy today? Here, this should calm you down. Now for some relaxing oils. 
and a nice face roller massage. Next up, a gua sha scraper. It'll take care of any muscle pain. And who can say no to a manicure? Plus a nice soothing paw rub. A face mask? I guess it fits. And while you relax, we'll get lunch ready. You know, it helps to chew your food. Looks like you could use a challenge. Like this dog puzzle. We'll need to hide some treats inside. Okay, come on down. You're the next contestant on The Treat is Right. You win a snack. And another. And you take your time enjoying them. Finally, it's okay to play with your food. Wow, sand bottles. Squish them up. And it's like a day at the beach. It's also great for making paw prints. And if you want to make it last, fill it up with tiny treasures. Glitter. And pour on some epoxy resin. Pretty soon, you'll have something sparkly for your dog to wear. Aw, I love you too, but just let me finish my nails. Okay, we need a distraction. Ooh, a rubber glove. Now fill it up with liquid and seal it up. Make a bunch and place on your pup for some hands-free petting. So we can get back to... Oh no! Looks like someone's been shedding. Don't worry, our lint roller ball will save the day. Works great on sleeves, so let's try the couch. Now everything looks store-bought new. Aw, he's sharing his toys with you. He must like you. Or he's just playing fetch. Extreme edition. We need something to hold them all. Like this inflatable pool. There's plenty of room inside for everyone. Careful, you'll tire yourself out. Or is that the idea? Well, as they say, <laughs> let sleeping dogs lie. It's getting late. Almost time for bed. Which reminds me, he needs a bed. First, let's get him off the floor. Get a laundry basket and some cut-up pool noodles. Lay them inside and add a blanket. And the final touch, a cute puppy. Oh, don't forget the bedtime story. Once upon a time, and they lived happily ever after. Hmm, 40 winks wouldn't be so bad. It's still early, so let's keep quiet. Never mind, but hey, free planks. Always fun to squeeze in a little woodworking. 
especially when making a dog house. Seiko's gonna need a main plate. And a potato? Ooh, a potato stamp. Dip it into some paint. And decorate the doghouse. Everybody raise a paw. Next, add some push pins to the sides. Tie some string around them, and you can make letters. D O G. Come on, Seiko. Oh, I think she likes it. Whoops. Yeah, I'd say goodbye to that shoe. You know, if you got any old pumps, grab some pipes. Add them together into a cube. And hang the old shoes on top. You know, Seiko's right. Shoes are fun. Hang some rope on the other side. We're making a puppy playground. Catch the ball, Seiko! Wow! Three for one! Oh, let's hang these up, too! And that's just the start! Come on, Seiko! Let's try it out! Now for the shoes! Ha! Huh, Seiko's gonna sleep good tonight! Oh, it's hot! Oh no! Seiko! You're panting! And dogs can't sweat! Well, mm, paw pads. Jeeves! Oh, a duvet cover? Lie it down on the ground. Now place a fan on its side. And blow it up nice and big. It's the coolest spot around, literally. Time to make some art. Ooh, Seiko wants to help. Hmm, it's not such a bad look. So why don't we make more paw prints? Scan them and hang them up at your house. He'll always know he's home. Yeah, I think Seiko's gonna like it here. But sometimes, all a dog really needs is just a nice new tennis ball. Not that all his new toys aren't cool. Ah, who am I kidding? New stuff's great! Careful, kitty! The cat catcher's on the prowl! Oh, won't someone save this cat? Don't worry, this girl's got your back. Now let's get you out of this net. And get you ready to see the vet. Okay, that doesn't look good. Maybe this'll help. Clear! Well, that didn't work. Wait, I think she's got an idea. It's time we unleash our secret weapon. Cat food. It just might do the trick. Hey, are you gonna finish that? Now that you're all better inside, 
Let's fix you up on the outside, Ew. too. Our special glove will do the trick. It's time for some serious petting. Ooh, look what the cat dragged in. Let's clean those dirty paws. This soap dispenser should help. Or at least make things a lot more fun. <laughs> now it's time for a little brushing. But now let's put it into overdrive. And massage all your worries away. Honestly, pressure never felt so good. Oh no, your bracelet! What can we do with all these beads? Let's use them for a craft. Make a paw print. And place some beads inside. Keep it in place with some epoxy resin. When it dries, turn it over and dig. Kind of like looking for buried treasure. But our real treasure's right here. Mmm, snack time. Oh, looks like mom's back. How do you want to explain the cat? Or better yet, should we put this banana peel to better use? Hmm. Nobody here except us bananas. <laughs> it's not the right time to introduce you two to each other. Ooh, I choose you, Pikachu. Hey, isn't he a mouse Pokemon? Uh-oh, but it's all right. We can fix him. Just add some parts to an old tube. Ooh, Pikachu's gotten taller. Now wrap some rope around the tube. And don't forget his other parts. He's like a brand new scratching post. And I think he's ready for a new play date. Aw, now play nice, you two. What do we have here? A wood stick. Now let's add it to a wooden square. A nice hinge will keep it in place. Gotta keep it nice and secure. But now, we're gonna add some layers. Mm -hmm. Like a nice midsection. And now for the top floor. Hmm, it's a little hard. Let's get something soft. <laughs> like a bunch of pillows. Oh, look, they fit right in. What else can we use? Ah, curtains. Now let's make some cuts. And tie it around the structure. Pretty soon, you've got a new canopy bed. Ah, this cat tree looks like a lot of fun. Ah, uh, please tell me that's just juice. Ew. Well, that sock's seen better days. Ew. Hmm, that eh? mini toilet could be useful. Let's fill it up with kitty litter. And let our feline friend try it out. Well, I'll get the scoop. 
Ooh. Hey, what's under here? Books! This'll come in handy mm. as our new cat staircase. Of course, cats always land on their feet. Ooh, the cookies are burning. And while she's not looking, Luna's in the mood for chicken. Hmm, let's get you some lunch. Smear some food on this licking mat. That takes care of Kitty. So, who wants pizza? Oh no! That's your second favorite plant! Good catch! Here's an idea. Collect some old feathers. And add them to your shoes. Now you can keep an eye on Luna's playtime. It's time to start another day. Oh, can we borrow this towel? All we need is a little rope belt. Wow, everyone's so generous today. Add it inside. Make twists and turns. And you've got a tiny hammock. All that's left is to hang it up. Let's make one for the cat, too. Time for a well-deserved snack. Uh-oh, that's gonna leave a stain. I guess we could just cover it up. Looks like the cat got to it first. We could just do the laundry. But this fur remover should do the trick. Now it's as good as new. Uh-oh! Oh, what is it with this cat and plants? It's okay. Add a sock to a glass. Fill it up with seeds and soil. Water it and soon it'll grow. Wow, that was quick. Wow! Add some eyes. <laughs> and now it's your cat's new best friend. Or snack. Either way. This cat prefers food with a face. Aw, makes you wish you had a feline friend. Mm -hmm. Nothing a little scrolling can't fix. People save baby footprints. Why not do the same for your fur babies? And here comes the fun part. Breaking it all to pieces. This cat doesn't look like he belongs to anyone. So let's fix that. Make your shirt into a pouch. And bring him to your house. Which shall henceforth be his house. Cats usually clean themselves, but this looks like a big job. At least skin's easier to clean than fur. This looks like a job for one of our gadgets! A cat brush. And when you're done, look how easy it yeah. is to remove the hair. Which also makes it easy to use in crafts. After all, cat hair's better as earmuffs than on your couch. Huh? While we're at it, let's do something about those nails. But why stop at just cleaning those nails? 
These clips fit right on. And think of all the money we'll save on polish. <laughs> wow, lipstick for paws. I would have just called it paw stick. <laughs> Good idea, a massager. You know, it's hard work being a cat. Yeah, he should feel nice and relaxed. Now how can we make this dinner table more cat friendly? Maybe this cardboard box can help. After all, cats already prefer the box to whatever's inside. And you can do no wrong with some colored tape. Look at all these colors. It's like a rainbow of tape. Hmm. Ew. With this plastic bowl, we can make a window. If only it was this easy making a window into a bowl. What else can we add? Honestly, I'm not surprised lawns are free. With all that hassle of mowing them, some people might even pay you to take it. Oh, some free clothes just lying around could be useful. Ah yes, jeans. Like your skirt, but with legs. Let's stuff it up with some of these other clothes. And tie the legs up together like a pretzel. Our project is almost done. Just add the roof. And a few finishing touches, like these sticky notes. Place them down in a pattern like roof shingles. Hmm, what else is nice and sticky? Great idea, a sticker! We can personalize our furry friend's new home away from home. Is there <laughs> anything else a cat would like? <gasps> Ooh. These brushes will make fun self-groomers. What else do cats like? Clothespins? Do cats like clothespins? Okay, I see where she's going with this. A fish mobile. Furnishing a house has never been so delicious. Oh, and what a lovely picture frame. Excuse us, we're just gonna borrow this too. Wow, this mat fits inside the frame. What are the odds? And now we have a brand new scratching post. This flower pot has a lot of space. Cut it open and it's a perfect private makeshift litter box. Oh, water. Cats need water too, right? Let's add a cat water fountain. Just add water. It looks like our fish mobile is yeah. getting nice and pungent. Do you have anything else we could add? These beads could add just the right touch. Let's just run some thread through them. This would make a great friendship bracelet. Wow! But now, tie up the excess string and cut. This way, it ends in a little pom-pom. Make different sizes for your new beaded curtains. <laughs> Next, let's cut up a hole in this stool. Add a plate right on top. And with the help of these silicone molds, we can fill it up with the best custom-made snacks.
and just think of all these different flavors. Hmm. She's got that look in her eyes. She's got ideas Ooh. for this traffic cone. We'll need to cut up this plastic bottle and add hot glue. Add some around the rim to soften things up. Add to the cone. And fill it up with even more cat treats. <laughs> of course, what's a cat house without a ball of yarn? Except we're gonna use it for our next craft. I wonder if this girl's ever played Cat's Cradle. I feel like it'd be right up her alley. Oh, these plush toys would be great for that net we just made. <gasps> of course, you can't have much of a cat house without a cat. Let's see how he likes it. Does he love it or does he love it? A free hat? Well, these wonders never cease. He's having a lot of fun looking at stuff. And would you look at that, he's potty trained with an actual pot. Now to kick back with a nice snack. And some more snacks. The only thing better than having a cat is being a cat. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Oh, trash day again? Whoa. Seems like we did this last week. Uh-oh, mm -hmm. the raccoons are back. Oh, wait, that's no raccoon. Oh, what a cute little puppy. And look, no collar. Good thing you already got this pet backpack on you. Aquariums, they're not just for fish anymore. Huh, there's not a lot of leg room, is there? With a backpack like that, he's ready to go into space. Right out of the case, and he's already got muddy paws. Oh, right, you found him in the trash. Well, a nice warm bath should perk things up. Or don't dogs lick themselves clean? No, wait, that's cats. How cute, a dog brush. And it even has a little place to hold your soap. Rub-a-dub-dub. This must be a dog's favorite type of bath. The kind that doesn't use any water. But it works. Mm hmm Good thing. Otherwise, he'd be shaking the water off. And we wouldn't get this tender moment. Wow, he must be clean to be on the furniture clean. And now he gets his own wardrobe, too. Huh, a little big, but maybe he'll grow into it. Oh, wow, look at those nails. We need a manicure, hmm. stat. Sure, I've seen green nails before, but that was just paint. Why stop at the nails? Let's take care of that fur, too. Mm-hmm. Of course, the most important part of a beauty routine, canine or otherwise, is keeping clean. Cue the foam. Still, no true day of pampering is ever complete without some form of facial mask. Ooh. Hmm, what else can we do for our day of indulgence? Oh, good idea, some brushing. With a tongue? I repeat, isn't licking yourself clean more of a cat thing, not a dog thing, or a people thing? At least it seems easy to clean. Ah, now for a massage. Oh, and look, we've got a gadget for that too. First a nice neck rub, and then just work your way down the back. Hmm, does it work on people? Well, I guess you can after all. Though you should probably ask before using it. Mm -hmm. Time for dinner. Good, because I haven't eaten in like a whole hour. Mmm, a nice salad. And the puppy gets... 
Mm. Yeah. Just some kibble. And even he doesn't look too yeah. appetized. Maybe hmm. it's all in the presentation. Ooh. Let's cut along the lines. It's just like coloring. And we want some bend to it, so add some tape. Now everything's got a nice shape. But still, we don't want to show off something that looks like cardboard. Gold-colored paint covers hmm. all sins. Ooh. And so do a bunch of fake jewels. Just don't advertise the fake bit. Man, and all this just to host the dog food bowl. Speaking of which, can we jazz up the food here too? Great! Good boy. Look at him eating. All gone. Guess it's true what they say. You reap what you sow. Wow. I wonder if that dog knows the goose that laid the golden egg. Anyone think they're related? Well, into the drawer. Oh, what's this? Oh, this hmm. looks like a collar. Huh? Just what our four-legged friend needs. But it needs something extra. Rhinestones are nice and all, but we want something personalized. And a photo will help show ownership. Well, oh, looks like he's on a roll. Literally. He's going to look so handsome with his new collar. Which means that it's the perfect time for a selfie. Give us a smile. Show us some teeth. But not in a show of dominance sort of way. Any other photo ideas? Let's make a fun border. Now pick a theme. Ah yes, the source of all happiness. Money. Just don't use the real kind. Though by the looks of things, this new owner can probably afford to. Oh, he'll look so handsome in his portrait. Surrounded by Ooh. money. Just like Scrooge McDuck. Oh. After all this hmm. pampering, it's finally time for our puppy to relax. You better be planning a game of fetch taking hmm. his ball like that. Oh, wow, hmm. a golden bone. Let's hope it's not real. I mean, you could chip a tooth. Hmm, seems like enough fun for today. Oh. It's time to get ready for bed. Or instead, time for another craft. Hmm, with this mold, we can make a bunch of little jewels of different sizes and colors. Put them all together, and we can make a fun mobile. Like for a baby crib. Just hang it up, and he's fast asleep. Wow, I thought he would need a bedtime story or two. Let's cut back to daytime. Time for a fun dress up. Ooh. And don't worry, just because dogs don't normally wear clothes doesn't mean they can't accessorize. Mm. Ah, adorable. Huh, he doesn't really seem to be a hat dog. Got anything else he'd like? How about hoodies? Well, the light up buttons have spoken. No, but red is certainly his color. And it looks like he agrees. Just add some chains and some sunglasses, and he'll make Snoop Dogg look like Snoop Cat. Ooh. Let's see what other outfits he'd like to try. A white tuxedo? Does he look like James Bond? Hmm, maybe another color will do. Oh, he seems to prefer the more <laughs> classic black look. And it certainly seems to suit him. Oh, he's just so cute. What big eyes he's got. Time for another day of fun with your furry <laughs> friend. <laughs> what can be better than a puppy? Simple. More than hmm. one puppy. Ooh. And this one's so big, you just want to cuddle them up. And soon, there'll be even more puppies. In the meantime, our blushing bride wants some kibble. And maybe a steak or two. That was bow wow tastic. Yeah, I went there. Catch you next time.
Hello, Mr. Strawberry. Are you ready for your facial? Ooh, it looks like a beard transplant. Well, he always wanted to be one of those cool shaven cans. When it comes to peas, you don't need a whole pod. You can have tons of fun with just one. Hey, that rhymes. But what's really fun to play with is a balloon. Blow it up. You know, we can use it to make a pea pod too. Let's start out by making three. Now tape them together. For extra fun, let's draw some faces on them. Hey, my spaces are still faces. Now give it a good squeeze. All the cats are coming out for this. What a pretty dolly. Let's give her a haircut. I was thinking a pixie cut, but bald is beautiful. Now let's trim some whiskers. Wait, hold on. We can whip you up a new weave. Be careful, you might feel a slight pinch. Ooh, who says blondes have more fun? Sometimes you just gotta think pink. Mm, cherry flavored. A plastic cup with nothing inside. What a waste of a good cup. So let's have some fun. Draw something on it. It's a tiny pair of shades. And look, they come in your size. Who says hole punches can only come hole shaped? Especially when you can get the gold star, among other prizes. Let's see how he looks with a few beauty marks. But why not save some for yourself, too? Enjoy your cat nap? Surprise! We've never looked better. And cats already look good, thanks to all that beauty sleep. As every cat knows, it's kind of hard to top a ball of yarn. But we're always up for a challenge. Let's add it inside a balloon. What else? Ooh, glitter. And some clear glue. Ooh, it's nice and squishy. What else can we try? Ooh, ice cream. It's got a nice smile, but let's give it a bigger mouth. Oh, it's nice and hollow. So let's squeeze our squishy ball inside. When it's ready, give it a good squeeze. Just because that one cat wore a hat doesn't mean they all do. All cats have their own sense of style. Some prefer to sparkle and shine. And also wear wigs. And don't you worry, there's plenty of sparkle to go around. Oh no! Cola is a terrible thing to waste! Careful, you don't want any sticky paws. Don't worry, just blow up a balloon. And deflate it into a brand new glove. You could just lap it up, but cats prefer milk. Hmm, you sure that bowl's big enough? Then again, you can't beat drinking straight from the source. We might not have the whole cow, so we'll settle for the others. Bubbles are so fleeting, so let's make a bunch. Here's an idea. Take a bottle and a straw. 
No, we're not blowing bubbles in chocolate milk. Ooh. Especially since we're cutting them up. Place pieces of straw inside the bottle top. Use a rubber band to attach it to an electric fan. Now just give it a dip in some bubble solution. Time to turn on your DIY bubble machine. Ah, the artist at work. Let's add some red, yellow, blue. It's SpongeBob. I knew that cat had good taste. Time for Sponge to meet Squeegee. Gotta love that underwater work. Our little archaeologist is hard at work searching for treasure. Just add a little water, not too much. Now time to air dry. Time for some elbow grease. I think cats have elbows, right? A running mouse? Let's see if it lives up to its name. Oh, look at it go. No wonder it's so much fun chasing him. I'm starting to understand where the term cat burglar came from. Just what is our furry little friend up to? Ooh, a balloon. I guess he likes it on the frosty side. It's like a pinata. Just scratch it open and collect your prizes. Congratulations! Careful, you might chip a tooth. Oh, now where's that blow dryer? Oh, even better, a hammer. It's time for a little smashing. Make that a lot of smashing. Careful, you don't want to break your stuff. What a good idea. We've still got ice left over. After all, I am feeling a little parched. Time to do a little gardening. Look at that cucumber. Let's clean it up. Keep it lined up. We're gonna start slicing. Or would you prefer to pickle it first? We're only cutting partway through for now. Flip it over so we can cut the bottom half. Why not? Keeps the board scratch free. Careful, we're not cutting all the way through, you know. Because it's much more fun to make a spiral. Hey, squash can come in spaghetti. And why should squash have all the fun? cat -erific stuff. Catch you next time. Oh, poor Dolly. She's half the girl she used to be. Don't worry, we can rebuild her. By which I mean, make her a kitty. <laughs> Too bad mm -hmm. mom's not a cat person. Mm -hmm. Poor kitty. Huh? And she's not the only one. <laughs> Don't worry. You're coming with us. Mm -hmm. huh? Just gotta sneak past mom and done. <laughs> now let's make some space for you. <laughs> You'll have the closet all to yourself. <laughs> But it can still use some customization. Why don't we make an opening? <laughs> to make you your own kitty door. <laughs> and with some toothbrush bristles. It's great for a quick brush. <laughs> now let's roll out the carpets. 
<laughs> and this remote car can be a five-star delivery service. And a plastic okay. bottle's great for holding dry food. Put it somewhere your cat can get it. In case it wants a midnight yeah. snack. Huh? Next up, mm -hmm. we're gonna need some hair. <laughs> Barring that, string or rope is fine. Either way, wrap it around a plastic pipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> oh, but where to put it? Oh, make a hole. Put it through and add more pipes. Soon you'll have a massive scratching post. And we can decorate with our favorite plush toys. Always great to lend a hand or two. Huh? With cats, toilets are basically drinking fountains. So let's make sure it's got clean water. <laughs> now grab a pop tube and roll on some paper. After all, every toilet needs TP. Uh. Hey, where'd all this cotton come from? Uh. Huh? Don't worry, mm -hmm. we can fix him. Mm -hmm. But we can make him even better. By filling him up with treats. Look how easy it is to dispense. And with a few adjustments, <laughs> it's also a seat. Hmm? Ooh, candy. Huh? Ooh, slime. Two great things, just not together. So let's add catnip instead. Our little friend here will hold it. While your cat takes a few licks. Wow, what an amazing toy! Plop a little ball inside and you can fold it into new shapes. Even with the ball still inside. Ooh, there's a bulb on the fritz. Well, we can still use the empty glass. Ditch the wire and fill with water. Add some cardboard and a phone. And you've got yourself a new video projector. Guess we can spare this plushie now that we've got the real thing. Drill some holes. Add cat-friendly seeds and water. <laughs> this toy's got a brand new do. And your cat gets a quick nibble. Next, slice up a big plastic bottle. Add some twine on the sides to make handles. And add something soft. Hang up a tiny kitty hammock with a special surprise inside. Ooh, where'd that red dot come from? I think it wants to show us something. Wow, a cat tree gadget. Let's take it for a spin. Look, it's cat treats all around. 
for your cat, it's dinner and a show. <laughs> What the? Ugh, how'd a bug get in here? Hmm. It's okay. Take some cardboard, and we can make some kitty cubbies. It'll keep your cat's favorite things safe. Which, naturally, are mostly just food. Huh? <laughs> just make sure to close it up. Of course, cats are also partial to balls huh? of yarn. <laughs> so lay down some yarn. Hot glue some sticks and lay them down like a bridge. <laughs> Hook it up. Let's test it out. Now that's what I call sturdy. Oh. Mmm, hmm, sushi. Let's make our own. Yeah. Black for seaweed, white for rice, and yellow for egg. And add your favorite fillings. Now roll it up and start slicing. <laughs> But it's not for eating; it's for hanging up. <laughs> huh? Hey, how'd that get in there? Well, we can use it to attach these pipes. Once it's secure, we can hook it up too. Ooh, look at that hair! Oh, inspiration strikes! Let's add color and make a bunch. It can give the lamp the cozy cover it needs. Just add some finishing touches, and our cat closet's almost ready. It's time for our new feline friend to explore their new pad. You must be this cute to go through. Careful now, there's a detour. Oh, there's so many things to play with, and even fun things to eat. Hey, being cute is thirsty work. This sushi sure looks like fun. Let's take a look on top. Ooh, a ball! Try to catch it. Look, a well-stocked pantry. And plenty of plants to nibble on. After all that fun, it's time for a nap. But the best part about a closet is that it's great for hiding stuff. Also helps if your cat's a magician. Ah, cats! It's their world. We're just living in it. You know, this Cheetos can put some pep in your step. Just built a little boot around it. Add some paint, or even better, glitter chair, and you've got new lifts. Now get stepping. On second thought, watch your step. You got paw prints everywhere. Don't worry. Enough caramel can cover up any blemish. Give it time to harden, and you've got candy. Add a stick, and it's a lollipop. Or should we say lollipop?
Done with that bottle? Good. We can recycle it. Especially that cap. Add clay and a paper dog. This ain't construction paper. Color them in. For the eyes, let's go with googly. The gang's all here. Let's get rocking. They just keep going and going and going. Wow, a dog making dumplings. Eh, hey, still better than mine. Don't worry, that's what our dumpling maker's for. All you need's the dough and filling and voila. You've got a perfectly wrapped dumpling. Wow. Careful, that might be the one with kibble. Ooh, a bone. Ooh, an even bigger bone. And ooh, a corgi? Kind of breaking the pattern. But at least he seems fun to play with. Give him a treat and watch what comes out. Ooh, careful where you're aiming that. Oh no, not the cheese puffs. I wouldn't eat that. Ew, someone get this dog a diaper. Wow, a candy machine. Looks like you've caught one. This game's a lot of fun for kids. But as for pups, not so much. But maybe then can join in on the fun. We can make our own candy machine. Just with kibble instead of candy. Press a button and the treats come pouring in. It's good thing his head fits in. Hmm, I guess someone ran out of candy. Oh no, Monica's missing. Oh, there she is. So, does this mean I get the reward? Guys, I'll get back to you. For now, let's get crafty. Next time she gets lost, she'll have an ID tag. We'll need her name and a contact number. It's kind of big. Let's shrink it down to size. Bake it in the over and bam, it's bite-sized. Just the right size to fit around her neck. <laughs> it's lunchtime. Guess someone doesn't want to share. I know, grab a pop tube and a funnel. And let the food come right to you. Use a bowl to keep everything in one place. Unless, of course, you want to eat off the floor. All done? Well, let's keep it around for dinner. I heard of dog groomers, but not like this. Oh no, you took off the whole eyebrow? It's okay, this toy has plenty of hair to share. He just keeps it in his blackheads. Good. It should be more than enough. But first, he really needs a shave. This is going to take a lot of shaving cream. Time for a rinse. And that's good enough. <laughs> What a good boy. You've earned a treat. Ooh, a hot dog. The last food in the house. I probably shouldn't have mentioned that. It's simple solution. Just split it up. You get a piece and so do you. Hey, what about me?
Mmm, pizza. Wait, watch out. Oh, no. Is the pizza okay? We can rebuild it. Fry up the dough. Okay, this might take a while. Good. This face is nice and crispy. But a little makeup wouldn't hurt. No one wakes up looking their best. Take a bite. Just eat around the eyelashes. Oh no! Your wig! I told you to tape it down. Don't worry, we'll make you some new hair. Cut up something purple, like onions. Just as long as she looks like an anime character. Start by whipping them up into spirals. Anyone else starting to tear up? Just me? Let's lie her down and see if we have enough. Let's save some too. I want onion rings. That should be enough. Looking good. So where are we on those onion rings? <laughs> oh, even the tiniest of hearts can be broken. But don't oh. worry, we'll make you a new friend. Literally, just need a glove, a cup, and some markers. Give it a muzzle and soon you've got a brand new dog. Tuck it inside. Add a hole in a straw. And blow it up. She's ready. Time for a meet cute. Emphasis on cute. Wow, they really like hot dogs around here. The chase begins. Get back here. Okay, now I'm starting to get dizzy. Hey, don't give up. Get crafty. Or better yet, crafting. Draw a runner in one circle and their legs in another. Cut off the tip of a straw to connect them together. Now these paper dolls will do all the running for you. Add a background and it's like you're in a cartoon. So who won? Hey, let's call it a draw. Ooh, what's in that giant block shaped box? Oh, that little shirt's sure seen better days. We can spruce it up, get out those felt tip markers. And I mean all of them, make a rainbow. Roll it up and add to water for a nice relaxing soak. Once it dries, help your furry friend become fashion forward. Careful with those paws. Don't you look cute? Well, cuter. And since you're all dressed up, let's dance. Shake that tail. Okay, almost done. Congratulations. This girl's going to be a cat person. Unfortunately, pets aren't allowed here. But when it comes to cats and cat ladies, love always finds a way. I won't tell dad if you won't. Wait till you see the best part. This cat already comes with kittens. Now let's clean you up with our very own cat tongue. Soon you'll do this for the kittens. 
Actually, I think both of them will. Ooh, someone needs a bath. Now let's put on your shower cap. Oh, right, cats don't like water. That's why we've got a special cleaning kit. Add a little foam and comb it into the fur. Now your cat smells brand new. It's time for a little redecorating. Careful, you don't want to lose such precious dirt. Let's sweep it all into a corner. Make sure to spread it out. Grab a rubber chicken or other garden tools. We're gonna plant some seeds. Don't forget to water, and pretty soon, you'll have your very own grass carpet. <laughs> now grab some cardboard and add them to the sides. Now, we'll need a bowl. An empty one. Use it to draw a circle. And cut it out. Wow. And the bowl should fit right in. Let's make a bunch of these little windows. Hey, do we need to clean the cat again? No, it's coming from this old pizza box. Ditch the pizza, but let's keep the box. In fact, a bunch of these boxes will help us make a kitty bathroom. Complete with all the amenities. Think outside the litter box. Hey, I think she likes it. But first, it's petting time. Who's a good girl? If only we had some room to move. Here's an idea. Let's distract the cat. Grab a bunch of different pillows. And make yourself a decoy you. See, kitty? An even softer lap. And we're free to go explore. Just in time. I think I just heard something inside your closet. Ooh, the dolls are having a party. Complete with a little mini fridge. Now we can fill it up with all of our cat's favorite feasts. Well, when dad's away, the cat will play. Okay, a typing cat is impressive. But dad's not supposed to see you. So let's get you out of here. Still, if you like computers so much, we'll make one just for you. One that's also a scratching post. And it's so fun to sit on. Oh, hey, what you looking at? Ooh, birds. I wish we had our own bird. And now we do! A rainbow parrot! It can fly, too. Eh, everyone's a critic. Well, at least we still like it. But you know what else is fun? A great big cardboard box! Thanks. Huh. 
Let's tear it apart and put it back together, but in a whole new way. Otherwise, it'd just be busy work. <laughs> Don't forget to close up the back. It looks like a television set. Let's put on the mouse network. Talk about interactive television. But in life, cats are the stars, and we are just the spectators. Uh oh! Dad needs new glasses. But let's hope he keeps them for now. Oh, and by the way, happy birthday! He's got a special surprise for you. It's a new cat. Well, a toy one. Because you don't have a real one. And to keep him thinking that, let's put this fur remover to good use. And he's none the wiser. Wait, where's the cat? Uh-oh, she's on the prowl! And she's on a feng shui kick. Hmm, let's get something that'll keep her distracted. Like this fun whack-a-mouse gadget. And the best part, no tokens required. Let's hope she washed her paws first. Quick, grab it! Or at least turn it over. As for Dad, who wants pizza? And how about we fill up all these paw prints? Give it time to dry and flip it over. And it fits right on your cat's collar. Gimme paw! It's the gift that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're gonna need a sock. Now add to a glass container and fill with dirt. Add some seeds, cover with more dirt, and tie up that sock like peas in a pod. Let's add some cute little antennae. Spray on water, watch the plants grow, and give your cat a new treat. It wiggles too! Wow, this place is really coming together! where all the cool cats want to be. And what dad doesn't know won't hurt him. Of course, even with all the fun stuff we've made, sometimes all you need is a place for a little cat nap. Come on, the camera loves you. You own that catwalk. Though, maybe I shouldn't have used the word catwalk? Want your pup to be a fashion star? Start with boots. Let's try these first. Aren't they cute? Perfect fit. Just remember, we need four in all. It's not like your pup can resist all those puddles. Now let's try the balloon. Deflate it a little. That was quick. Now place on your puffer. And it still protects their paws from all that dirt. Either way, it's cheaper than a doggy treadmill. 
of course, while dogs appreciate a good walk. They sometimes prefer to just ride along. Especially when you do the skating for them. Hey, look, Ma! No paws! But if you don't have a special bag, we can try out an old tote bag. Cut out some paw holes. Plop your puppy right inside and go for a spin. Just be careful if you've got a great dame. Time for gadgets for your dog's more private moments. This one's pretty big. And look, it gets bigger. And bags are included. Just take one and wrap it around. Well, we might as well try it out. Give it a sec and test it out. That was easy. Oh, guess I spoke too soon. What are you feeding him? Let's just hope we don't run out of bags. Now let's try the hair clip. Hope you don't use it. Either way, we're covering it up. Hey, it works! And good thing the trash bin's right here. Well, that was fun. But now, here's something for the cats. Look at that cat brush. And those bristles. And while we've got a cat here, why not try it out? Look at all that hair. Well, now it's a toupee. Up next, we're gonna try a foot. Oh, I guess just the sock. Add onto a brush. Just make sure all those bristles poke through. Groomed twice in one day? <laughs> this cat knows how to live. Pull off the sock and the mess is gone. Pets don't do that whole don't play with your food thing. Take this toy garden. Bury some treats. Plop in some carrots. Sort of reverse gardening, you know? Like, come on, Scoob! Put that snout to work! After all, what dog doesn't like to dig? Eh, carrots are really more of a rabbit thing. Take a TP roll, cover the bottom. Put a string through it and add a few more. Fill up with treats and give to your dog. The trick is to spin them around. It gets them on the floor, but not for long. Dogs gotta keep up their tongue exercises. Wow, look at all those suction cups. Stick it up and spread on something yummy for your pooch. While they're not looking, it's grooming time. Here's our backup plan. Take some plastic wrap. Wrap around your head and add the food. Now you and your dog can have some quality time. So why not squeeze in a manicure? Can't neglect your pet's dental care. And just in time, let's start with a brush. Now let's use the glove, but it could use some help. You just can't beat a good bristle. Add some doggy safe toothpaste. Now when you brush, really get in there. Ah, cats just seem to get the best toys. 
Just add a plume on top of this toy. Now, let your cat take it for a spin. So many ways you can play with it. This kitty's gonna sleep well tonight. But why not make a toy? Hey, watch out! Look, a feather! <laughs> this could come in handy. Just tape it to the end of your shoe. Why not both slippers while you're at it? Now you and your cat can play together. Throw in some catnip, and this is kitty luxury. Now for a puppy bumper. Start with the donut. After all, who doesn't love donuts? Open up and stick your pup inside. Now that fence is nothing to worry about. Now try a spoon. Just add to a harness. Like a cone of shame, but without the shame. Pets sometimes need a little space. You know, a little alone time. <laughs> this cute little tent is just the thing. Of course, there's some owner assembly required. Come on, kitty, there's plenty of room inside. No wonder female cats are called queens. Let's see what we can make out of these old jeans. Plenty of leg room, but let's add some stuffing. Now fold it up into a makeshift lap. And it's your cat's rightful throne. It's time for some interactive dog toys. This bone's got some teeth. Add kibble. Let's hope its bark is worse than its bite. Now for the ultimate test. The bone or the chicken? Uh-huh, dogs and bones just go together. If you don't have one, just take a towel. Add some kibble in a pattern and fold it up. Nothing can hide from a dog's trusty sniffer. Unroll the pink carpet. It's snack time. Puppies are cute, but they usually don't come housebroken. Devices like this should help. Just add a sheet. And your dog enjoys their own patch of lawn. But maybe a nice plastic bin is all you need. Just fill it up with some sand. Maybe some rocks and wood shavings too. Now roll out a patch of artificial grass. Stick it in a corner and let your puppy enjoy needing to go. Cats just love a good light show. What are you waiting for? Fire the laser! If only the laser wasn't so hard to catch. Just like one of those cartoon mice. But maybe all we need is a hard hat. With a laser pen taped onto the front. Shake your head. Just don't get dizzy. I mean, you could just use the laser pen by hand. But come on, where's the fun in that? Because selfies aren't just for people. 
Seriously, social media is 99% pet photos. <laughs> For this device, <laughs> clip on a snack and a phone. Come on, time to get ready for your close-up. Let's send these headshots to Paw Patrol. This frame might help too. Smear it with food. Once again, the food will catch your dog's attention. Zoom in, unless you want the food in the photo. Of course, it's hard to take a bad photo with such a cute model. Pet amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Oh, there's nothing sadder than a cat person without a cat. Luckily, it looks like that's about to change. Oh, it's a kitty. And she's so fluffy. Something tells me that's not rain. Whatever it is, it's coming with a chance of kittens. Ooh, are you having a tom or a queen? Two of each? Mommies in the making need lots of love and attention. Especially when they start shedding. Don't worry, our cat brush will fix you right up. This'll catch all that excess hair. And disposal couldn't be easier. Who wants a paw rub? Let's tuck you in and count some white mice. Huh, this curtain just sparks inspiration. From table to fort, a cat fort. Complete with a big fluffy teddy bear. Bring those two bear paws together. And keep them that way. Add a cushion. It's your own little chair in your own little corner. Wow, construction's thirsty work, you know. No, but save some water. It's just what our toilet water dish needs. So fresh and clean, you'll want to sip for yourself. Don't forget some TP. Always comes in handy. After all, accidents do happen. Some kibble will pair great with all this water. Oh, there's a prize. Oh, we found Nemo. Of course, every fish needs a bowl. Why not add a little island in the middle? Just add water, too. Now it's all ready for our robot fish. Round and round they go. Ooh, careful! Oh, I think you broke that brush. No matter, those bristles look all right. Just add some glue and it's a new scratching post. Wow, you sure go through a lot of brushes. <laughs> Ugh, we need to get a litter box in here. In the meantime, it's time for a little 52 pickup. Looks like she's got an idea. And just in time, too. Start by cutting a little door on the side. Hmm. Maybe something in this old Christmas box will help. No, not this. Not that. Aha! Our tiny Christmas tree. I knew it wasn't such a bad little tree after all. In fact, we'll need a few to cover up the sides. <laughs> Just lay out the green carpet and a plastic bag. Don't forget to glue it all together. 
add some sand, like every litter box needs. <laughs> uh, gravity is just not your friend today. But cardboard is far more agreeable. You can make it into all sorts of new things. All it needs is some old Christmas lights. And why not add a pillow at the bottom? I think your bird shedding <laughs> must be catching. Eh, loose feathers means crafting supplies. Add this to a string and add some beads. Let's hang these up like a beaded curtain. And it's the perfect place for all your old gum. We should add a pillow on top. And look, there's even a door! We'll need stairs, unless cats can fly. Ooh, nice pom-pom. Can we borrow it? A few of these will brighten up the doorway. Oh, I think Kitty wants to help. Uh, maybe not. Either way, this broom is just what we needed. Take an empty box and fill it up with a bunch of bristles. Pour a little cement on the bottom. Not too much. We want those bristles sticking out, so Kitty can play with them. Uh-oh. Hope we didn't use up all our brooms. Hey, there's something in the plant pot. Oh, it helps you make paw prints. And we've got plenty of paws. This is going right in our collage. Ooh, beach balls on tap. Now that's fancy. But let's not forget about all that string either. Wrap it around and glue it into place. Now all we need is something to stand it on. And something sharp. Don't worry, I said we've got them on tap. Cut an opening. It'll help get the ball out. And your kitty cat in. Wow, someone tell that ostrich we found her egg. It looks like it's ready to hatch. Let's help. Ooh, confetti. And a cute baby duck. Sure had a lot of room in there. Looks like someone's got a new best friend. Meanwhile, let's have fun with all this laundry. These green tights are just what we needed. Start by folding one into the other. And tie them to these chair legs. You've got a little hammock right in your room. So who wants to try it out? Any takers? What happened to our feline friend? Well, at least we've got a sock. So many holes. Let's make some more. Take these tubes and add frills toward the end. <laughs> Accessorize and your kitty friend's got a brand new outfit. Put your paw through and you're photo ready. Perfect time for a snack break. But first, let's have some fun with the container. We really just need the bottom. It works even better than tracing paper. Draw the outline and then color it in. When you're finished, cut it out. Leave some room to punch a hole in at the top. Now we just need to add some heat. This will shrink things down to size. 
It's the right size for our new necklace. All dressed up for a nice night at home. <laughs> Your brand new cat home. Let's explore. Wow, those cats know how to live. Guess somebody's got some cat scratch fever. Now that's a bear hug. Time to descend the stairs like you just had a makeover. And there's so many places to catnap. But I think this is her favorite spot. <laughs> Remember to order that big liter of milk and a 20-pound salmon. Good. Now, does the cat want anything? Pretty cool stuff. Catch you next time. Instant cats. Just add water. <laughs> and they say cats don't like water. <laughs> Let's just sneak on by. Aww. Nothing to see. Home free. Oh, coochie coo. <laughs> This is going to be a great day. Oh, I jinxed it. Hmm. This bed could use a makeover anyway. Remove this wood. Add a panel to the side. Oh, anyone getting dizzy? A fresh coat of paint fixes up everything. All three walls. Let's see what we can do for the outside. A stencil pattern. Let's spread on some paint. Who says we need a brush? Besides, this is much faster. Peel off. On second thought, a brush can take care of the little details. Look, a cat face. As if you didn't guess who this was for. Hmm, this hole looks scratchy. And not the kind cats like. This cat door will help make an easy entrance. And with the help of these toothbrushes, the cats will get the scratches they like. Let's take a quick tour, shall we? This grass carpet will please the wild cat inside your pet. What else can we add? Hmm, an old pizza box? Cover with tape, and you can make a few steps. Steps right to the cat's own private bathroom. Meet the new and improved litter box. Now, what else do cats like? How about this? Take some rope and twist it around a base. <laughs> Tie it so it's nice and tight. And your cat has a new scratching post. What else? Maybe they'll like that pigeon. Oh, even better. Take a desk drawer. Add pillows, cushions, and some toys. And it's a brand new bed. Here's something we can add to the wall. Now your cats have their own private television. Oh, it's getting hot in here. You know, the cats might want a drink. So, let's give them their own fountain. After all, it's easy to get hot when you can't take off your fur coat. Always smart to try things out before trying on the cats. Now that they have water, they might want something to nibble on too. And we're going all natural with cat grass. And there's plenty of room for a bowl full of cat chow. But let's keep the fridge stocked with wet food, just in case. Everything's really coming together. Let's add some more toys. Well, he's off to Wonderland. What's down there anyway? Ooh, candy. Oh, this bowl should fill up the hole. It's the perfect place for some cat toys. <laughs> and if the cats are feeling a bit hungry at playtime, this toy's the perfect thing. Just add food. 
See, they'll get a treat when they spin it around. That'll keep them active. <laughs> hey, can we borrow this pillow? Now take some tights and cut them up. We need an X shape with some material in the middle. Tie each of the two opposite ends together. It's like a bed and swing all in one. Let's test it out. You know, these buttons can help get their point across. They can tell us when they want water, food, or even playtime. It's a bit too small to be a staircase. But we can still use the base. Attached to the wall, and we've got stairs after all. Hey, you're not using this giant bucket, are you? <gasps> Thanks! Huh? Now that we've cleaned it out, we'll cut out an opening. Huh, what else do we need? How about more toys? You can never have enough cat toys. And we can use them for a project. Hot glue them to the patch from earlier. You remember from the hole? Add them to the bottom of our can for a soft cushion. Now break out the power tools. We're drilling some holes. After making a few, run some thread through them. It's kind of like a checkerboard pattern. The cats are gonna be so happy. Where are they anyway? I uh, think you've got a little something there. Oh, that gives me an idea. Add hot glue, press it down, and it's as good as laminated. Perfect for keychains or personalized collars. This cat toy's interactive. Let's add it to our collection. Cats sure have good taste. This looks fun. Cat food? Maybe we should leave some things to the cats. Oh, it's just a toy. And we've got the perfect place for it. You know, it's a little small. We need to think bigger. Let's get a large glass container filled with water. Fill with stones and marbles. Add a plant. And the finishing touch, these cute little fish. I spy with my little eye, well, her eye, eyes, a plastic bottle. Empty it and cut it up. Take the bottom and hot glue some string in the middle. Now use the string to reattach the two pieces. Add a pom-pom to the top and fill with cat chow. Hang it up. More snacks? These are gonna be some lucky cats. Cool, a laser for our cats to catch. Let's try it out. Either it's the laser or she needs to clean her pores. Hard to catch, just what we need. What's on your head? It's like a fidget spinner. Let's add to the wall. What can't be improved with the addition of stickers? These pictures will help give it a more homey feel. Some more toys. Cats sure know how to live. Maybe we can put this tablecloth to better use. As the curtains for our brand new cat hangout. Yeah, this is where all the cool cats come to play. Great place for a nap. You gotta for a big day of sleeping. Right. 
Still, look at all the fun stuff to do. Eat grass. Use stuffed animals as a floor. Or just relax. Looks like someone's ready to play, too. Or maybe just stretch. You gotta love all the accommodations. And there's still so much more to explore. Who needs steps when you have a giant scratching post to climb? Unwind, watch a little TV, have a drink. Oh no, mm -hmm. he's found the cats. I mean, what cats? Huh? Aw, it's love at first sight. meow horrific stuff. Catch you next time. Save me the funnies. Oh look, a dog. Oh, uh, don't you just wish we could have a real dog? Hey, what was that? Let's check it out. Uh, I hope it's what I think it is. It's a puppy! Wishes do come true. Hold on, someone's got some dirty paws. Don't worry, we'll clean you up. I'll just take some toothbrush bristles and add to a cup. Don't forget some soap and water too. Now for the most important part. Some paws to clean. These paws are as good as new. But now let's clean up the rest of you. We can use this net and ketchup? Wait, that's not ketchup, but it can help. Take this shoelace and twist the net around it. It's a brand new luva. Add some dog safe shampoo and lather it up. And now it's time to pamper that pup of yours. Besides, it sure beats taking a bath. You know, cats aren't the only ones who shed. But maybe we can put all this extra hair to use. Like a cozy new pair of earmuffs. <laughs> Not a fan? Try this. Take a beanie, make some holes, and soon enough, it's a brand new top, puppy sized. Okay, we need to accessorize. Let's see. Ooh, a chain. Hey, careful. And look, there's a pocket. And we just washed those paws. Actually, that's a pretty nice paw print. Add some decorations and some nail polish. And now we've got our own 3D paw print. Put your dog's name on one side. And it's a brand new dog tag. So this is the thanks we get? Yeah. Well, it's time to get scooping. In a pinch, a claw clip works great. Yeah, you should probably toss that. A wash basin? Hmm, this has potential. Flip it over and cut out a little doorway. Add something soft like a poppet toy. Got any extra buttons? Add them to the side. And then add another basin on top. Slice up some pop tubes and add them around the rim. Now look who's got their very own room. Ooh, a window. It's a puppy penthouse suite. Don't forget, 
Dogs also need to stay hydrated. Tape the bottle upside down on a wall. Right above a bowl. Now release the cap. Let the water flow. Now your dog's got their very own drink station. Oh, that sock sure seen better days. Let's give it a second chance. Add to a bottle. Add a button. Some googly eyes and a tail. Now that is one fancy rat. And your pup's got a brand new toy. Guess we don't need the paper dog anymore. But with all this stuff, your dog's favorite thing to play with is you. Time to take out the trash. Huh. Meow. Oh, a kitty. Let's take you home. Just remember, we should probably keep this a secret from mom. Yeah, she's not exactly a cat person. Speaking of cats, where is she? Better find her before mom. Hey! We need to kitty-proof this room. Cut out a hole in the table. Now grab a glass bowl. We're making a giant fish tank. Complete with underwater flora. Of course, for anything to be underwater, you're gonna need some water. Now, grab some pieces of cardboard and use them to cover the sides of the table. What else can we use? Like a handy dandy dish sponge. Take some scissors and cut it up into a nice arc shape. Now dip in some paint and get stamping. Pretty soon, it'll look like fish scales. <laughs> now let's shine a light on things with our mini lamp. In fact, let's add a bunch. Next up, let's grab some old curtains. Lay it down and cut a hole. Uh -huh. Now lay down some turtles. <laughs> and hang them right under the lights. Wow. It's a perfect sight for you and Kitty to enjoy. Hey, don't you want your snack? Cut out a paper plate rim and hang it up. Give it a watery touch and add some treats. Don't forget, cats need their greens too. Besides, cats really dig them. Why don't we collect it all? Soil is a terrible thing to waste. Seeds have to go somewhere. Don't forget to water them. It's your cat's very own snack corner. Wait, what's your cat up to now? Oh, 
I think she needs a bed. We'll need something soft, too. Ooh, a towel. I'm sure she's not going to need it. Now let's lay it down and roll it up. And fold it into a circle. Now take some tape and cover it up. Until it looks like a giant lifesaver. It still needs something soft inside. Perfect, a soft shirt, just in time too. Cause someone needs a cat nap. Oh, ouch! Look, it's seashells. The perfect thing for decorating. Like this clear plastic container. This could use a line of pearls around the rim too. It's a treasure chest with wow. undersea camouflage. <laughs> Fill it with sand. Grab a shovel. And it's a brand new litter box. Next up, grab a plastic bottle. <laughs> and attach a string with beads. Hold it up. It's a nice jellyfish. It'll be your cat's new favorite toy. Just hang it up within reach. Wow, it's snowing. Inside? Wait, it's cotton. Where is it coming from? Uh-oh, she's got a cat scratch fever. We gotta fix this. Grab some tubes. And spin some twine around them. Now poke some holes in the lid. And add some feathers inside. It's your brand new palm tree scratching post. Anyone else in a crafting mood? Well, go to the kitchen for some pasta. I know it's fun to try new recipes. But maybe you should order some pizza. Now, take the pasta and hot glue them to the pieces of cardboard. Now let's paint these shell clusters. And soon, we've got a coral garden. Let's show them off by adding them to our new cat water fountain. Not thirsty? Well, maybe you're hungry. Guess it's all in the presentation. Take the kibble piece by piece and form it up into a new shape. Like a cute little turtle. He's crunchy, but he's got a soft shell deep down. Look, it's a whole family. Then again, I can see your cats clearly just eat. Well, it's not gonna scoop itself. Ooh, what a cute little paw print. Careful now, add some shells inside. And use a glue gun to save the shape. Aw, it's just what our kitty collar needs. Now cover your aquarium with tulle fabric. Complete with a fishnet design. 
Add some cute little seashell fish too. Wow! <laughs> Come on, kitty. It's time for the grand opening. There's things to play with and places to sleep. Let's see how you look in a fishbowl. Wow, you can almost be a fish. Let's hope mom thinks so too. Uh-oh, she's got her glasses on. And I think she wants a closer look. The cat's out of the bag, but it's okay. I think she's a kitty convert. <laughs> this dog's looking for a new BFF. We've got a match. Let's meet up. Hmm. Wow. Looks like her. <laughs> sort of. Anyway. We found you your new match. <laughs> so, why don't you come over for a visit? What you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Come inside. It looks like there's a wow. dress code around here. Now let's try some pimple patches. And look, they come with paw prints. Give it time and the pus peels right off. Uh, you can throw that out now. Wow. Oh, smooth. Now let's fix those eyes. We've got just what you need in the freezer. It's an ice lollipop. Just rub under your eyes a few times. Soon you'll look well rested. And it tastes great too. Now let's move on to those teeth. We're gonna need something extra special. Aha! Let's use the new dog toothbrush. Now that's some fresh toothpaste. Open wide. It's time to brush. Now you can taste again. Well, wow. wait 30 minutes. Cool. You know, makeup can really help you express yourself. Okay, that seems about your skin tone. <laughs> add it on. Uh, let's ask for a second opinion. Why don't we try something else? Now take an egg. Careful, it's fragile. Wow. And cover it up with makeup. Now get blotting. And be careful. You don't want egg on your face. And I'm in the mood for omelets. Speaking of food, you've earned a treat. But it's not for eating, it's for contouring. Just don't forget to blend it in. Ooh, and it smells great, too. Why don't you try a makeup pencil next? Remind me not to leave her unsupervised. What you need is a stencil. For now, let's use this coat hanger. Good wow. job! Let's throw <laughs> confetti! Wait, that's not confetti! Wow, amazing! It's beetroot! Also money, but also beetroot! Cool. It's practically free lipstick! And blush, too! Eh, we should probably blend that in. 
Everything's looking rosy. Speaking of looking, time for mascara. You say it with your eyes. You know, some thumbs would come in handy. At least these paws are good for wiping. This looks like a job for heavy artillery. Bring out the glue gun and draw out some shapes. Huh, they could still use some color. Good thing we've got a whole makeup rainbow. Blend the colors to give it a nice hue. Why don't you try them on for size? All you have to do is pick one. Wait, where does it go? Here? No, silly, it goes over the eye. Good thing we made a matching pair. <laughs> now let's fix up those shoes and socks. Maybe something less Alice in Wonderland. Oh, a band-aid? Inspiration strikes! Let's put it on your nose and add some makeup. Grab your brush. How about a nice green color? Make sure to color outside the lines. Now peel it off and add some stickers. You just can't go wrong with teddy bears. Aw, someone deserves to get pet. Hey, what's wrong? Is it her hand? Ooh, you're going to need a mask. That'll perk up your paws. And look. Just unfold, and it's a cat paw. I think that's called a dew claw. Just kidding. Let's tape it down. Gimme paw. Who's up for some patty cake? Okay, that should be enough. Let's see how they look. Oh, it's all so nice and smooth. Except for the rest of the arm. Uh-oh. This calls for special measures. Our special hair remover spray-on cream. Just be careful where you aim that stuff. Oh, that poor doll! But wait, that just means it works! Oh, your arms are oh so smooth! Now for the rest of your hair. Hmm. How about we twist it up? Uh-oh, I think it's stuck. Do I need to get the scissors? Wait, those paws know what to do. Just twist the hair on this drying rack. Some clothes pins will keep things in place. Now, let's get the hair dryer. Should be enough. How does it look? Make sure you took off all the clips. Wow! Hair this good, you just got a flip. Time to take on the world. Ouch! At least we won't need makeup remover. Oh, don't cry. Your furry friend knows what to do. Grab some stretch wrap. Take out your favorite makeup and draw a new face on top. Why don't you try it on for size? 
Make sure to stick it on. Let's see how it looks. Wow! This pup's got your back. And I think someone's getting a walk. Aw, what a cute little wiener pup. And they blow up so fast, don't they? Still, this pupper could use some fur. Now she's a real dog. Thank you, Blue Fairy. And she's got a surprise. More puppies are on the way. Good thing she went to vet school. Cause it's time for a sonogram. Oh look, someone's having triplets. Which means you're eating for four now. Well, that just proves my point. Good thing we've got our handy dandy pooper scooper. Just look at that face! He's so happy to help! Oh, me so full! But me could always eat one more! Puppy owners need to keep up their strength, too! And if she can get a treat, too, she won't complain. Though you're kind of getting a little messy. Don't worry, this hula hoop will help! Of course, a little water's just common sense. Let's dry you off. And just in time for a little <laughs> costume change. Sometimes you just need a random dance break. But we could do without all this hair. Some durian fruit should help. Slice in half and add some hot glue. And stick to the wall. Now it's a makeshift scratching post. One that will keep all that hair in one place. Of course, we want puppies to have a little fur. Oh no, and you didn't even overwater it. It's simple. Our pup needs a secret garden all her own. Ooh, let's add treats our dog will appreciate. Eh, maybe make sure they get in the hole. Come on, girl. It's time to look for buried treasure. And maybe you should try trimming that. Uh-oh. Someone got into some paint. Still, these are some nice paw prints. Cut them out and shrink them in the oven. Now that's what I call puppy size. And they're your collar's crowning glory. Ooh, are the sheep visiting? Wait, no, someone's teething. Don't worry, we'll give you something to chew on. Stuff up some tights. And we mean plural. Now staple them up together. Well, this should give us a hand. You know, there's always time for a manicure. Now, you've got the best seat in the house. Hot dog. That is one big sausage. You know, bread's not the only thing that can be a soup bowl. Besides, she likes her ramen to have extra meat. And there's plenty to go around. Okay, we really need to start cleaning under here more often. 
or at least keep better track of our tennis balls. With a little needling, keep them on a string. <laughs> In fact, this works for all sorts of things. Hang them up. It's like a party in a cube. Of course, all good parties need snacks. Now for the big unveiling. It's like a puppy playroom. The piece de resistance. The tennis ball. Oh, she's going to sleep good tonight. Silly puppy, that's for drinking. Uh, sort of. Good thing it comes in fun size. Press the button and fill her up. Have a drink. And when you're done, how about some TP? A watermelon. Let's slice it up. Well, that's one way to do it. Still, we'll need a few more cuts. Now it's time to scoop out the good stuff. But first, we're going to need the rind. With some eyes and ears, it's a puppy. Hmm. As for the red stuff, let's get out the cookie cutter and make some fun shapes. With all these animals, it's our very own zoo. Now, one for me, one for you. It's selfie time. Well, that's not going on the fridge. Don't worry. All you need is some handy-dandy cardboard. Time to put those art classes to work. All that green can only mean one thing. It's a dinosaur! Well, almost. We still need a head. And we've got just the right one. Perfect. You can be anything. The limit's your imagination. Sometimes puppies need help communicating. But all you need are just a few buttons. Now your dog can let you know what it needs. Whether it's playtime. Or just a drink. Or even a little pampering. After all, it's hard work being this cute all the time. Now it's time for a massage. Or, as she calls it, a belly rub. Well, I guess your photo needs a new frame. Better yet, let's get a document folder. Now you can finally give your photos an outline. Like you're in your very own cartoon. Huh, that's an idea. We'll just need a projector. Tape it on. Add some light. And enjoy the show. This is just what the wall needs. Go grab some paint. And put those tracing skills to work. A pacifier? Oh, that gives me an idea. Hmm. It just needs another cut. And we can add a Scooby snack inside. Let's add a decoration while we're at it. Aw, now she's giving us a smile. Is anyone else feeling dizzy? Oh, it's laundry day. Hmm. I guess those jeans were dry clean only. Well, at least we know someone they'll fit. 
Something tells me this happens a lot on laundry day. Well, now they're two of a kind. You know, you should really take turns. Don't forget, she's got an audition for a kibble commercial in an hour. So, when can we expect the puppies? Bow wow tastic stuff. Catch you next time. Ew. Let's start by wiping all this stuff off you. Come on, we've got sunflower seeds with your name on it. First, let's make something special for our new friend. Start with adding pieces of a poppet toy to this fidget spinner. Now our new little buddy has his own little fun house to play in. Be careful, a trick can be just around the corner. Always great when a watermelon donut breaks your fall. While you're here, why not try this new ride? A water slide. It leads right into your own personal little pool. Of course, there's just no place like home. <laughs> Though it's kind of hard to keep track of them now. Where is he? Waiter, there's a hamster in our salad. Naughty, naughty. Jail time? Come on, can't you just let him off with some community service? No bars can hold him. Or maybe they can. Maybe there's a hidden door, like the fun house. Let's hope that's just a secret tunnel. Oh no, the prisoners escaped? What else can we make? First, bring out the cardstock and glue. Roll it up into a cylinder. Add a puff on top. Let's fill up these walls with beads for a splash of color. Now our hamster has his own hills to run over. Well, they're hills from his perspective. Now he's on his way to freedom. Ooh, looks like someone's back in the labyrinth. Oh no, the room's filled with trap doors. Good, it looks like those eyes will keep him from falling. Uh-oh, this looks like a tight squeeze. Not what they usually mean by knock down the door. Oh, this last one's a little tricky. There we go, we're out of here. Always time for a selfie break. But this felt pen is giving us an idea. It's a little mermaid. Don't skimp on the scales. Though I guess she doesn't need a face. I see, it's like one of those carnival attractions. Just hope he doesn't squeeze out beforehand. I wonder what she's got planned for that straw. Let's stand them up on some cardboard. Now let's add some walls. Don't stop at just four. It's another maze. And don't forget the finishing touch. A ball pit. Well, the first level seems simple enough. Nothing like a ball pit to break your fall. Good, he's making it through the straws. Anything in those boxes? Come on, we're almost home free. He made it. Let's sit down for the final course. Quick, before they bring out the check. Does he want to share his stuffing? He has a surprise inside, a pop tube. 
we can use it to make a new maze. Can't forget the ball pit. Let's roll up this pipe cleaner too. Kinda looks like a pigtail. So far so good. No pipe cleaner's a match for him. Now this one's kinda tricky. At least there's a backyard. Sort of. Victory! The ball pit and a way out too, I guess. Mm, bananas. Wait, something's off about this one. It's a toy. Open it up. Take out that stuffing. Now hang it up. It's like a hammock. This room sure is fancy. There's even a flat screen. Welcome to the Banana Cabana. Oh, he needs a lift. Looks like Huggy Wuggy wants to lend a hand or two. Great idea. Make the hammock come to you. Want to take a nap? Nah, I'd rather go exploring, too. Hey, what's that mark on the wall? We should really fix this up. It's time to whip out our 3D pen. Draw a circle for a base. Keep adding on. Now we'll need some sticks, well, sticking out. It's like a tunnel. Let's fill it up with some stuffing. Add some eyes. It's starting to look familiar, isn't it? Climb up, and it's a brand new place to rest. What else is there to explore around here? A new hole, wherever this leads to. This tunnel looks fun enough already. Wonder what she's up to. Gluing frames together? Oh, look, it's a little house. It needs a paint job. This shouldn't take too long. Ouch, should have known. Those blocks, at it again. Maybe we can make something out of them. It's what they're made for. These blocks add a nice touch. Hmm. What else can we add? <laughs> These sticks are great for building too. Just add hot glue. Now our house has a brand new backyard playground. Can't forget the ball pit. Time for some real fun. It's what playgrounds are for. Look, it's a swing just for him. Who said show jumping was just for horses? It's a slide, just without water this time. Time to explore the house. Can you squeeze through? These blocks are the perfect decor, real postmodern. Wow, these disco tunnels must have been on sale. I think we're getting lost. Oh wait, what's that in the distance? It's a trophy, congratulations. After all these rooms and challenges, he certainly earned it. Though now, I guess we'll have to make him a trophy room. Unless this is the trophy room. Eh, just accept it. It's the hamster's world. We're just living in it. Squeak, 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 squeak stuff. Catch you next time. Once upon a time, there were two puppies. They were a modern day prince and pauper. Hey, what's that? You found more gold. Quick, follow that money trail. Well, it's golden, but I wouldn't touch it if I were you. 
Luckily, here's just the thing to keep your paws clean. Do what dogs do best. Start digging. When you're done, they come right off. But if you don't have any booties lying around, cut up a rubber glove. Let's try it out. Go on, get down and dirty. Now let's look at those paws. Either way, those paws are safe. Okay, we need to rethink this fence situation. This new collar will help keep you safe. And look on the bright side. At least it's not a cone. Hmm, what else can help? How about a long bone or stick? Just make sure it sticks out on the sides. Wow, finger painting without the fingers. Mm -mm. But we should probably clean those paws. Just add water and give it a good scrubbing. Squeaky clean. Ooh, patty cake. Seems like good clean fun. Ugh, spoke too soon. We need hand sanitizer stat. As for that popper, we can make our own paw cleaner. Just need a scrubbing pad, a cup, and water. Much better. But there's three more to go. And we're done. Remember, patty cake at your own risk. Oh, looks like someone's about to go on a trip. Make sure to tuck that belt in nice and tight. And away we go. Him <clears throat> to the pox, huh? Now sit back and unwind. Hmm, you're the perfect fit inside this bag. A few cuts. And it's a custom-made carrier. What you waiting for? Sooner you leave, the sooner you share your pup with the world. I'm starting to see how they got so rich. Either way, it's time to get scooping. Just wrap a bag around it first. Let's just keep one jewel. Uh, service fee and all. And the job is practically finished. Uh-oh, I don't think he can wait. Don't worry, we can make our own scoop. We just need an old plastic container. Isn't recycling just grand? Some dogs like their kibble shaken, not stirred. Of course, food is all in the presentation. This toy is the dog version of a tiny bit of parsley. Although it's also a lot more fun. It's a game that ends in a treat. And now it's time for round two. Just give it a good push and jackpot! We're in the kibble! Of course, some dogs are fine with a little silver bowl. But deep down, don't all dogs just want to have fun? Try adding kibble to a towel in a pattern. Roll it up for a mini scavenger hunt. Come on, put that snout to good use. Remember, no treat left behind. An ID tag is very important for puppies. Sure comes in handy when they get lost. 
you'll never know when you'll need it. I mean, Scooby-Doo still can't find that nephew of his. See? This pup's already home sweet home. And ID tags don't have to be fancy. Make it out of old plastic. You just need to be able to read it. Still, maybe we can shrink it down to size. Add to your pup. And remember, Toto, there's no place like home. Dogs sometimes need to unwind with a little scalp massage. What? Being cute and adorable 24-7 isn't easy. If you don't have the special machine, look no further than your own kitchen. Just take an old whisk Ooh. and cut it up at the end. Yes. Add a little hot glue to give it a tender touch. Ooh. Let it dry and give that canine cranium a good rub down. With all that fur, it's about time we get to brushing it. And look. This brush makes cleanup a breeze. Still, let's not waste such nice soft fur. So hard to get things in Kissy's size. Ah, our spring cleaning's almost done. Oh, I just had to jinx it. Look at all that hair. We can work harder, or better yet, smarter. Add hot glue drops to a rubber glove. Draw some squiggle lines on the palm. Now you can collect hair right from your puppy. Before it ends up all over your stuff. Are you thirsty, boy? We can fix that. We've got our very own water dispenser. Here, why don't you wet your whistle? Huh, this plastic oh. bottle isn't really for you, but it can be. Decorate the bottom with hot glue. Pull off, and it's a brand new puppy bowl. Hmm. Who says that laser toys are just for cats? You don't need nine lives to catch mice. Mice are fun and all, but let's try something else. Draw something you know your dog will like using this transparent material. Now let's shine a little light on the situation. Game on! Here's one of the most important parts of pet care. Costumes. Otherwise, Halloween's just the end of October. Ooh, this look just needs one thing. Perfect. Even old clothes can become pet outfits. Want to try this on? No? Yes? Eh, I guess not. How about something a little more snugly? Yeah, that's a yes. Let's try it on. Throw on some pants while you're at it. And a hat under the hood? <laughs> Why not? Yes! Any old clothes can look good on a puppy. Some candles will help set the mood for our new puppy massage. Just roll this tool around your dog's face. 
And maybe that back while we're at it. He's not the only one in need of a massage. But you know, blocks were made for building. Like this puppy back scratcher. Scratch his back and he'll scratch yours. Popperific stuff. Catch you next time. Happy birthday. Oh, and look, this one's got air holes. It's a puppy. Oh, a toy puppy. <laughs> kind of a misleading box. Well, we can still play with it. Let's give it a bath. Sweet Jiminy Crickets! Your love made it a real dog! Thank you, Blue Fairy, wherever you are. Maybe we should wait before we break it to Mom. Phew. Just a few seconds old, and he's already got bugs. Time to break out the tweezers. Wow. Some of these bugs are big enough for a hands-on approach. Ew, someone's got dog breath. Well, don't worry. We've got a brush just for you. Canines are pretty important to canines. Maybe that's how they got the name. Now let's clean up the whole row. Huh, what have you been eating? Now it's time for the other kind of brush. Oh, soon enough, we'll have enough to make a new dog. Quick, let's hide you. Come on. If anyone asks, you're a pile of clothes. Just stay still. Hey. Did you have a nice birthday, honey? What the? Oh, she's just shedding and then dyeing the hair. Hmm. Uh. Wow, I can't believe that worked. Ew. Sort of. Either way, it's time for a little spring cleaning. Let's pile it up. Now where's a carpet to sweep it under? Ooh, your pants could use a good swipe too. Uh -huh. Wow, the puppy's really good at hiding. Seriously. Oh, this isn't good. Let's follow that trail of chewed up clothes. Well, dogs like to dig, and dig they shall. Come on, we need to clean those dirty paws. This device should help. It's a shower and a brush all in one. What a good dog. Most would have had five escape attempts by now. Let's dry you off. Well, that's one way. But let's try this bathrobe. And if mom asks, you're a shark. And for being such a good boy, you get a face massage. But don't let the name fool you. It can massage more than just your face. I think there's time to have a turn of your own, too. Wait, I'd be careful about taking a nap. Hey. Nothing to see here, just us toys. Yeah, mom needs to check those glasses. Now what did we say about naps right now? I'm sure we can sew them back up. But for now, let's trim those nails. Okay, that didn't work. Time for plan B. Ah, plastic wrap. Now it's a plastic cap. Some peanut butter should please our furry friend. Now he won't notice the mani petty. Hey, where are you going? Why couldn't mom fill up on birthday cake like the rest of us? What? You forgot the ketchup. Well, someone doesn't mind. At least you still got your ketchup. Silly doggy. Thinks he's people. No. Here's something for you. A kibble dispenser. It's dinner time with the press of a button. Bon appetit. 
And don't forget, moms have to eat too, you know. What? A living room's like a city to this pupper. Ooh, look at wow. all these boxes. Let's have some fun. We can make a whack-a-mole game, but with treats. Besides, moles bite. Quick, hide, it could be moles. Come on. We're in the clear. Time to relax with a good book. Let's see. Wow, that koala sure likes eucalyptus. Aw, why don't you come up for story time? Uh -huh. Hmm, good point. How do you get up? Uh -huh. hmm. Great wow. idea. This doggy staircase should help. Come on, it's easy. Just one step at a time. Hold on a sec. I think nature's calling. Though someone needs to keep an eye on him. Make that something. This camera should help. Okay, let's try it out. It's all on your phone. Yeah, I never liked those shoes either. Green with green dots? <laughs> he did you a favor. Still, this sniffing mat should distract him. Especially when you add surprises inside. Pockets just make everything a little bit better. Let's try it out. And while he's distracted, hide your shoes. Except toe shoes, they deserve to be chewed up. Ooh, it looks like shoes aren't the only thing on his diet. But don't worry, now it can be his new collar. Don't you look dapper and selfie ready. This one would make a great ID tag. The glue gun's the perfect laminator. Just cover it with wax paper and flatten it with a rolling pin. Oh, don't you look dapper, doggy? What other looks would you like to try out? Wow. <laughs> well, you heard the answer button. A dragon costume? Look, spikes. Okay then. How about a superhero? We'll just call him Crypto. Uh -huh. Is it a bird? A plane? It's Super Dog. Wow, it's like he really can fly. Well, that was a great workout for both of us. Photo time. The Daily Planet will pay big for this. Ooh, look, an ink pad. Any takers? That's one way to get your John Hancock. Wow, this one's going right on the wall. But here's another way to help him express himself. Add some paint and a clear cover to a canvas. Some dog food on top should help too. Who needs a paintbrush when you've got a nose for art? You know, wall art's a step above refrigerator mm. art. Wait, you shouldn't play with paint. Besides, what you need is a chew toy. And look, it's corn themed. Smear some food on the kernels. Now this is what you should sink your teeth into. Ooh, look at the mess. There are paw prints everywhere. Okay, actually, I kind of like it, but that's just me. <laughs> Oh no! It's worse than I feared! She's got contacts! Now she'll get you! And your little dog, too! A suitcase? Is she sending you packing? Wait a minute, she's making it a doggy bed! It's the best seat in the house! 
I mean, look, it's portable. We've had a lot of fun today wishing toys to life. But be careful. Side effects can include a dog growing 10 feet tall or turning fire engine red. Do not feed after midnight. Consult local gnome for any additional questions or comments. Woof-a-rific stuff. Catch you next time. <laughs>